Hi, I'm Julie of Jaybird Quilts, and I'm excited to tell you about the Hexamore Ruler. The Hexamore Ruler comes packaged, full color directions. When you pick it up, when you unwrap it, open up the directions, shows you step by step how to cut the shapes, how many you get out of a strip, some piecing ideas. So there's four different shapes, each one in four sizes. Hexagon, triangle, half hexagon, and jewel. So I'll show you, here we have four different size hexagons, two and a half, four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half. We have half hexagon, four sizes, jewel, four sizes, and the triangle, right there, four sizes. And all of them work together. If you think of it as like Goldilocks and the three bears, all the babies play together, all the smalls, so forth and so on. So I'm gonna show you how to cut some of the shapes. So let's start with a four and a half inch strip. A bunch of different things I can cut from a four and a half inch strip. I'm gonna start by showing you the triangle. So the triangle, as shown on the front of the directions, is at the base of the ruler. And I am right-handed, so if you're left-handed, it's backwards for you. When it comes to the directions, I suggest you read them and then flip them upside down so the orientation is correct. So you see here, we've got the four and a half inch triangle line, and I'm gonna cut. And then you never wanna cut towards yourself, so if you can walk around your table, cut, or if you have a rotating mat, this is a good handy time to use that, and cut. Now I have my first triangle. Now if I wanna continue to cut triangles from this strip, since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna rotate it around, and I'm gonna realign my ruler, and the first one's the only one you gotta turn. Line up the four and a half inch triangle line, side of my ruler, cut. And to work my way down the strip, I would just keep turning my ruler up and down, no waste, whole way, the length of the strip. So now this same strip can be used to cut some of the other shapes. So say for instance, I wanna cut, I'll now cut a hexagon. Four and a half inch hexagon. I've got my four and a half inch strip. I need to start by recutting the strip. So I'm gonna line up my four and a half inch hexagon lines. And I'm gonna go as far over as I can so that I don't waste too much fabric. And I'm gonna cut. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate this piece around, line my ruler back up, four and a half inch hexagon lines, and cut. And I've got very little waste when I go to cut the next one, just gonna start by recutting the strip, cut those two tiny triangles off, and keep working my way down the strip till I have enough hexagons for the project that I'm working on. So I'll show you another size strip. So if I wanna cut some half hexagons, our four inch hexagon, our half hexagon is half the size. So four inch, two inch, so I'm gonna start with a two and a half inch strip. My half hexagons, as shown, are at the top of the ruler. So I'm gonna look for my solid half hex line, which is for all my sizes, line that up on the bottom and then it's my four and a half inch hexagon line up here since it's half the size. So I'm gonna cut. And this time, I'm gonna flip my strip over. So I'm just gonna flip it over like this to the back side and line it right back up. And now here, I'm gonna have to cut the dog ear and the straight and if I start by cutting here, I might accidentally cut into my strip and I don't wanna waste it. So I'm gonna do my long cut first, pull my strip away, and then cut off my dog here. And that's gonna help me in alignment later when I go to put the blocks and pieces together for a project. So that's our waste, super tiny. To cut the next one, just turn the strip around, line the ruler back up, and this angle should be right if you need to recut it, occasionally, sometimes in the middle of Strips will get wonky. But line it up, and I just need to cut my dog ear off. And again, flip my strip over. And 
line it up right there. Like I said, long cut first. Oh, missed a little bit there. And the dog ear. And one thing I have found when I teach classes is some of my students find, instead of continuing to flip the strip, that they don't mind flipping the ruler upside down. If you're comfortable doing that, go ahead. There's no problem in doing that. But you don't have to. But it's another option. So keep that in mind. So then our last shape, our jewel, we also have got four sizes. But let's go ahead and cut from a six and a half inch strip. Because what a six and a half inch jewel is, is basically a four inch hexagon with a two inch triangle attached at one side. So our jewel is the shape of the entire ruler. And for our six and a half, we find our mark down here and our baseline. And then it continues around to the four and a half inch hexagon up here. It's like I said, it's basically a four and a half inch hexagon with a triangle. We're going to cut. And then this is another opportunity where you could flip the ruler over upside down or, as the directions show and as I do most of the time, flip the fabric over to the wrong side, line the ruler back up, six and a half inch jewel to four and a half inch hexagon, and cut. And now when we go to cut our next one, if I continue to cut with the fat side in the same direction and the point, I'm going to have a small triangle of waist and a large triangle of waist. I don't want to waste my fabric. So if I cut fat side up, fat side down along my strip, I'm only going to have two small triangles of waist. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to rotate the strip around, line my ruler back up, and this is my double check that I have my two small triangles of waist. I don't have that large triangle of waist. Six and a half inch jewel to four and a half inch hexagon. And again, this is an opportunity where I could flip it upside down. Still make sure you don't cut towards yourself. Use a rotating mat if you're going to do that option. Or flip the strip. Line it up. And just like that, I've got my shape. All 16 of the shapes, rotary cut from strips. No waste. You can keep transitioning. I could cut six and a half inch hexagons from the same strip, so forth and so on. It's a really good way to use up leftovers in your stash and in your scraps. Um, large variety of patterns available. Um, block of the month quilts, um, large quilts, small quilts, pillows, table runners, um, all full color with full color directions, just like the ruler. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the Hex and More and Julie of Jaybird Quilts.